Stuart here at Retro Kits, one of my favourite booths because you have so many nifty MIDI devices and Surely. all that stuff. I use the RKW6. I mean, you know, we know your stuff. It's it's really nicely designed and uh, in the world of MIDI. But you've got something new as well, right? Yeah, we we have a new uh, thing now. Like, uh, of course, the last year was the the year of the six, which we had to do. Uh, yeah, like on, online, but now we can go back to live with the uh, RK008, which is actually a sort of a basic, well, it's it's a mini version of the MMT8, uh, which was, yeah, 30 years ago. <laughs> but we updated it with some more real-time tricks and performance tricks. So, uh, yeah, it has eight tracks you can uh, fill up with, with 16 channels of MIDI, each channel. Uh, each track can hold uh, every channel of MIDI. And Whatever you record into it, it will also play back. So also pitch bend, uh, control changes, program changes, whatever. So it's like a, like a mobile sketch pad uh, to make music. You can uh, you have two MIDI inputs, two MIDI outputs, and a gate output. So you can connect uh, all kinds of stuff to it, and it also connects with our RK6. Uh, so you connect this via USB, and you have ten more MIDI outputs or however you configure the 006. You have a little uh, little sort of workstation. <laughs> and it, it's pattern and song based or how does it? Yeah, you can, it, it's all how you like to play. You could choose to uh, just ignore the pattern length. It's like, it has like uh, a song, songs made up of parts and parts are made of the tracks. But if you want to ignore the whole part thing, you can just record your whole song in one part and uh, and so you can record freestyle, you don't have yeah. to quantize or you can no. quantize? No, you can just play, if you want to play a classical piece in it, it's also possible. You just don't set a length and you play away. And, uh, neat, neat. Okay, so can you show us a little bit of how, how it works? What's, what's, the, what's the process? Yeah, well, um, well this is, these are the eight tracks you can store your MIDI data in. And with the Alt key you can go and access the, uh, the, like the secondary functions. We don't have really deep menus because it's always a bit of a, a pain uh, when you try to perform and you forget where you were. And so we only chose to go one one depth. Here's like uh, Alt One is a length. You can set the length of a part if you want to. You can copy it. You can copy tracks to each other, but you can also copy uh, parts to uh, to another part. Uh, you can merge tracks or you can merge parts. So if you have like uh, you you're testing like a little drum beat and you uh, you you're happy with it you uh, quantized it if you wanted or added some swing and you want to mix down into one track to free up other stuff you can use the mix down or the merge button you can transpose it well here's the quantize I mentioned you can just select quantize presets with the pads and uh, yeah, you can use uh, every channel to to send out the original MIDI, so to every MIDI channel, but you can also set it to uh, send out to one channel only, or even to the first port of the RK8, uh, second, or to the RK006. So you can, yeah, easily use it as a little router as well. So it's got two, it's got two MIDI ports. Yeah. Right. Two okay. MIDI out. And uh, well, here I've configured it uh, to, yeah, to send out to different channels of the access fires. Uh, th those are the top four, like here's a little strange sound, the bass, and uh, chords, and the other, uh, the, the lower half I've reserved for the, uh, yeah, Falka sample in this case. Yeah, and well, now it's actually powering the RKW2, and that one does the MIDI modification, so we can use velocity on the uh, Falka sample and stuff. So, yeah, it sort of integrates with all the other stuff we made as well. It's, uh, the, the, the colors of those buttons are fantastic. How did you get them so vivid? It's like that red is so red and the green is so green. Yeah, well, it, it takes some uh, some overview. <laughs> we, ha we had this made, but uh, yeah, luckily we had good communication with the people who painted it for us and we were very happy. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. So, so you can record up to eight tracks, and then you can mix down the tracks. So it's essentially yeah. like a MIDI multi-track. Yeah. Like we say, based on the MMT. I mean, and simple and easy to use. Yeah, we we like to think so. I mean, um, of course, uh, yeah, we made this also because uh, 
we like the idea, like the MMTA, MMTA did, of just treating like MIDI data as it was audio. So the overdubbing and the recording is just, you select the track where you want to record to, you just press record, well, and then I'll just add the count in, and then you can start playing away. Now you see I made a little mistake with the playing, but I can just do the quantize on it. And now it's uh, quantized to eight notes. And I can uh, use another track, uh, use track six. And I can try and play in a hi-hat, which I'll probably do a bad job, so I'll need to quantize later on, but... Bad, not okay. bad, pretty good. Mm. We'll keep it then. But uh, just to be sure, I'll use the 16th quantize. And I can also add swing per track. So I can choose nice. like swing presets here. And I can use another track to, uh, well, to add some extras. I feel like Whitney's going to sing in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, I saw it just now, oh no. <laughs> um, well, record this too, and now I can uh, start on, uh, on a bass line, for example. Yeah, well. I don't like it. I'll just throw it away and I'll try again. Not yeah, well. well, this bass, I have a dial uh, set to the uh, brightness, so if I want to add this to this recording, I just overdub the controller on it. And can you abort that if you didn't like that controller movement? Yeah, if you, um, well, I know I recorded it, but if I want to erase the controller, I'll just press Alt Erase. I'll touch the controller, and then it says, okay, controller 40. Yeah, oh, clear it. And now it th takes the controller out of the track. And I can do a new one. Or I can add bits to it. Oh, it's too short of notes. Ah, too short notes. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do this with the... Uh, the other track, which is the chords, there's just some better effect on it. So, let's play. And record. Yeah, neat. Yeah. And now I can also... I can also solo bars by pressing it longer. as well, so I can choose tracks, so a little bit. I can choose uh, tracks to uh, be transformed by just the key input, so only the bass and the chord in this case. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, that's it's really that's a really cool little thing, actually. Well, thanks. Is this, so? Where are we? Is this is this a prototype or is it the final thing? Where are you? Yeah, well, enclosure-wise, it's the prototype, and uh, well, software-wise, it already uh, works pretty well, as you see. So, uh, we hope to uh, we talked to some guys here on uh, on Superbooth, and we hope to have this finished uh, not too long. Uh, of course, we have the chip uh, shortage stuff and everything, but. Yeah, hopefully it will be a lot further in half a year. Excellent. So what sort of price are you aiming to get this out at? Yeah, we're aiming for 350. Right, euros, so, uh, euros, dollars kind of thing, right? Uh, in the euros, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just down to kind of the final final push, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. we hope to see... Uh, well, yeah, well, the interest looks good here, so... Uh, 
yeah, we hope this continues and we can. Uh, it's a real fun. So I, I forgot to ask: Can you get the MIDI off this? I mean, if you built, built your Opus in it and you think, "Oh, I want yeah. to grab that," can you get yeah. it? From? You can just get yeah, this USB C. You can connect it here to a computer, and then, well, we use for all the other stuff uh, the Web MIDI. Uh, so you can just go to the browser. You can see the MIDI clips which are on there, and then you can uh, download it as MID files. Uh, send them to or upload it or send them to someone else or use them in a door or whatever and what's the what's the resolution of the recorded tracks is it uh, 96 ppqm 192 what's yeah the... it's what uh, what midi tempo does like the midi that's i think 96 so yeah the midi speed yeah thank you so much that's great well thanks <laughs> it's good to be it's nice to show it <laughs> we've worked a long time on it so it's good to have it out in the open now <laughs>